All right. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Hello, all you spell slingers from all over the world. Welcome back to the final edition of the Duels of the Spell Slingers tournament. At least this tournament here. Uh, thank you guys all for watching. This has been a nice journey. My name is Jokes to Jesus. With me today, I have Quinn83. Hi, Jokes. Hey, Quinn. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Oh, I'm great, and I'm excited. It's uh, the last game of the tournament, is it? Yep, it's the finale. Metagame versus Dahaka. And this one's a grudge match, because these two fought earlier in the semifinals. Oh, yes, that's right. So they fought in the semifinals, but uh, but uh, Dahaka lost, I guess? Yes, but and, okay, okay, it was okay. his first loss. So. And he made his way back over here, yeah. and now he's playing metagame for his second chance at winning the entire tournament. Metagame hasn't lost a single game yet. That's right. So if Meta loses, then we'll have another match after this. What a guy. We're going to have to actually get a picture of Metagame or something to prove to us that he's not a robot at the end of all of this if he doesn't lose. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I'm starting to be suspicious. <laughs> all right. What a journey it's been too, right? Uh, thanks everybody for being part of this adventure with us. I'm enjoying being part of the commentary. How about you, Quinn? Oh, yeah, I'm definitely enjoying it. <laughs> and, uh, and, and I'm excited to watch this game. This is a doozy, I hear, though. 50-some-odd minutes or some, something like that. Yeah, so sit back, bring your snack, <laughs> yeah, bring your, sure you coffee. your coffee. And your coffee and your tea and whatever it is you guys drink and eat from wherever it is you guys are hanging out. And uh, enjoy the show. Let's, uh, let's get right into it. All right, so we got Metagame playing... Uh, Nice, uh, sorry, uh, Liliana. Liliana. Dahaka's playing Teferi. Liliana and Teferi match off for the end of this giant tournament. Double elimination tournament. Oh. What a tournament it's been, too, eh? This is going to be a nail biter. <laughs> I'm telling you. All right, all right. Let's 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 go. So we're putting back the cost fed, the undead striker, and the Goliath. We're going to keep one of the cheaper cards we got, the undead striker. And we're hoping for some ones and twos here. A whole bunch of them. Um, it'd be nice if there was at least one of those here, because then we could make different choices. But seeing there's nothing, we want the optimal chance of getting a one or a two cost. So we'll keep one of the cheapest creatures and try to get as much as uh, we can. But looks like we got nothing, nothing. We got Scar of the Voids, Flagrant Fouls, a takedown, maybe keep us alive. But it's Tahaka. He's playing uh, Teferi, so I'm not too, too worried. We top decked a mausoleum, nothing. Dahaka also passed a turn, turn one, so there was nothing there. Turn two, he's got the uh, snap shell turtle out. Take it down. Take it down right away. Yeah, yeah, might as well. There it is. So we got a takedown in our decks. We're going red splash with this Liliana. I eh? love it, love it. He missed, switches it up. Sometimes he's got the white splash going on. Uh, yeah, I think the last match we watched was a red splash as well, because I was surprised to see it. I love it. So the three one is out. At least you had that. Um, it look, turns out that uh, <laughs> you thought it was an absorb, but no, it was an elemental. Um, Call of the wind. Call of the wind. So we're gonna go ahead and block it, or just two damage. What are we doing here? It would be five damage unless he blocked. Two damage the difference, flyer. right? Yeah. Two, the three's coming through whether you like it or not. So it's really the other two you have to talk, think about. Okay. So uh, down to twenty-two. Not too bad. Metagame's rocking just a plain land over here, so he's got that control on the land. He knows he's going to five, then he knows he's going to six, so it's easy to calculate how this plays out on your end of things. Dahaka's got his healing land, and I have to say, when I play Dahaka's Teferi with his healing land, I curse that land. Oh, yeah, yeah, I get nervous when he plays the uh, Telerian Academy uh, for him. Uh, you know, not that it's a great, not, not a great land, but it uh, triggers when you don't want it to. This, however, even if it does trigger when you don't want it to, at least it's healing you for four. Yeah, I might have to change up my Teferi. <laughs> it's nice. It's a nice. Uh... All right. What's Meta going to do here? Hmm. So you got Flame Coils, Flagrant Fouls. Got a Counterfeiter and a Mausoleum Witch, both of which can come out this turn. If he made that Relentless, it'll get another turn around. But I, I mean, feel like it's a small Flame Coil. Creature. Flame Coil is the answer here. Flame Coil so the 2-2? Attack. Two, two? attack first. Because if you Flame Coiled first, then he'd be like, ah, all salty and maybe change the way he would have played. Oh, he had a Disorient charged. Okay, so a 2-2 two, two blocks the 1-2, who cares? Whatever. Dead. Flame Coil comes out, kills a bird, Counterfeiter comes out. Done Counterfeiter's and done. coming out, looks for like sure, it. For sure, for sure. 
And I and think flame he's... Coil. Got, no. Flame coil. No. Okay, he well, likes I, to make the counterfeiter relax. I hear that. It's great. He dies, comes back sneaky again. It's a beautiful thing for sure. Man. And you definitely get two cards from it. That's actually a really interesting play. I'm going to try that next Well, time. I guess another thing that happened there was he was trying to suss out the Absorb, I think. Um, he'd rather lose the Mausoleum Witch on an Absorb than the Flame Coil. Yes, I would agree. So he's going to have to block the 2-1 two, with the 2-2 two, two, or yeah, yeah, he takes for sure. eight damage. Yeah, yeah, no. Yeah, yeah. That's blocked, but still six damage hurts. That sucks. Dahak is doing pretty well, though, with those uh, those elementals, eh? Oh, yeah. man. The call of the wind. Oh, another counterfeiter. Okay, so... Definitely attack. Attack See first. what you get. See what you get. Hmm. Oh, yeah, and I'm letting glare charge. You get nothing. All right, well, he comes back. Flame coil takes out one of the birds. Counterfeiter comes out. Well, the counterfeiter's coming out. Flame coiled one of the birds. Yep, exactly. Still got to take six damage here. Unless you block with the counterfeiter. Whew. Yeah, I guess he's taking six damage here. Yeah, you can afford it. Your health is a resource. I don't usually see metagame take so much damage, though, with this Liliana deck. Uh, I oh. brought metagame down to low health, and he still takes the game, this guy. So Dahaka <laughs> just gave himself health with uh, Second Sun's Dawn. And Meta's going in for five and getting two cards from it. <coughs> All right. So we got a Teferi's Acolyte and a Teferi's Staff. We got traps in this deck, and that staff can help us out. Does it? Does it work on a Liliana? I will find out, I guess. Not yet. Right now, the only play you got is a Southpaw to get rid of the 3-2, or I guess you can Flame Coil and throw down an Acolyte for no reason. Make him nervous. Just to make him nervous. Play down the Acolyte first, though, because then the space, the time that you've got to play the Coil is like time to charge a spell, too. Nope, Southpaw. Okay, south, uh, Southpaw. That's the way to go, I think. Uh, might as well get rid of the three two that can't block. I think. Yep. No. No, the two one. Well, there's some reasoning to that too, because the three two that can't block when he attacks is um, more annoying to sacrifice one of your creatures to block, knowing that he's not really in your way when you want it to go in for an attack next turn. And he has a south pot to block. But either way, it doesn't really matter one way or the other. Got rid of the flyer. That's what was important there. 11 health to 27. Now, Dahak has got an Isochron out. And he shocked the counterfeiter. That was sad. That was. I cried a little. Just a little. And shell game. Shell game. All right, all right, all right. Going to block this turtle for sure. Well, at least he gave you a blocker. <laughs> okay. Not a big deal. Got a mm -hmm. takedown. Fairy staff, scour the void. Lots of fun stuff. Lots of card draw going on. Yeah, I would likely take this thing down with the one card he's got in his hand. That right now it's like uh, scour the void first. Scour the void first. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, look at that. A Teferi's, a Teferi's acolyte uh, is worth a lot more with all those nice traps in hand, huh? Yeah. Exactly. There goes Dahaka healing again. Mm -hmm. 31 healing health. Death. <laughs> <laughs> All sorts of things can happen. Next turn, he's hitting eight mana. That one card in his hand could be a, a Arcanus. If he starts throwing some Arcanum around there. Woo. Pick teams, confounding identity. Killed my crab. I've never seen that card before. Well, used it. Never, yeah, he uh, was something else before. He got turned into something different. Uh, I played with him a little bit, but uh, yeah, yep. don't use the entity very often. Cool card. Charge the Call of the Wind and charge the Disorient. Well, what do we got? Five mana, so a Snapshell comes out. Yeah. Flame yep. Coil, the uh, entity. Yeah. That's a beautiful play. Yep. 
Tahawk is not sure what you have. Tahawk is not impressed. He's like, whatever. Get three health, pass a turn. Top deck in the way. That sucks, man. That sucks. What can you do? Seven, eight, nine. <laughs> well, you could uh, lava a wave just to get it all through. Why, though? It's not going to take the game. And it's not going to get him much closer. But he's top decking over there. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I charge, yeah, like he's doing. The wind, the disorient. For them, a staff? Yeah. Actually, I don't think the staff works in other decks. I want to know. <laughs> Pick a team? No, it would only no, take two. No, give him two. a card. Crazed Ripper, it's only going to take two. No point in flagrant fouling. Fairy staff, yo. You just want to know if it works or not. I do. I think it would. I don't know. If it says that it brings a spell or a trap, a fine. Trap. But if it says that it brings to fairies traps, then no. I don't no. think it says to fairies traps. Oh, well, he went too fast. Draw a trap, trap from, from your deck. Your deck. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Let's try it out. Well, does he have traps? I guess we're going to find out. <laughs> no. <laughs> he doesn't have traps. Thank you, metagame. I appreciate it. <laughs> I appreciate it. All right. dahaka has got the computer going on, too. Yeah. So it's like right across our big screen right now. It's gorgeous, guys. Fancy schmancy. Grudge match. Or doom? No. Grudge, Grudge match. match. That's okay. Okay. Doom a thing, why not? Charge champion's grit. Charge champion's charged? grit. It's not charged. It's not charged. Maybe he doesn't want to charge it yet. He'll heal more if he charges it. Well, he's got 34 health. I guess he's going to let all this through then. No, he's going to block the 5-5 five five with the 2-1. So then why not charge champion's grit? Because why would you want that thing back in your hand? Because it heals you more. Ah. Uh. And There's it comes cooler in things. Bigger. There's cooler things than Champion's Grit. I would not waste my Champion's Grit on one of these guys. Uh, I guess a 0 3 blocks a 5 5 now. <laughs> yep, looks like it. All right, here we go. 28 health now. Metagame starting to chip in. Starting to get that chip damage. He's got those flyers on there. If uh, Dahaka doesn't start getting some defenders for that, he's going to chip, chip. Oh, there we go. So we got an Isochron, a Glare. Come on, pick teams. Pick yes, teams yes. Or get ahead. Um, Or takedown. Takedown gets rid of the Flyer. It's too bad, though. Emulating Glare gets rid of the other Flyer. Now charge your Champion's Grit? No. No, you don't want to. You don't want a cat back in your hand. Who cares? Cats are no fun. I do when I'm top decking. Nah. He's going to let it through then. Yeah. It's four damage. That 2 1 can block something like a 4 4 or an 8 8 or whatever, you know? 24 to 12. Cheapers. So that didn't trigger. Nope. DOJ. Nope. Still wouldn't use it. No, I know, but he top decked one. Thank God, though, eh? Yeah. Because we all know metagame has that Grave Titan in hand. Like, in that deck. Alright, another four damage. Twenty now. No creatures, man. Now we want that land to start triggering every turn. Ooh, uh, there we go. So what do we do? Do we DOJ now? Charge that. Charge Champion's Grit. <laughs> Yay, there you go. Now you charge Champion's Grit. <laughs> Yay, Champion's Grit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you're going to block the uh, the bone, the bone uh, collector? No matter what he blocks, he doesn't die. What a cool card. Hmm. Coolest card. Metagame is over there with 13 mana going, hmm, what am I going to do now? Does he have an emulating glare? Does he have an absorb? Block him with the owl hama hama. Hammy ham. Another bone collector. Alhamarati coming Ooh. overhead. Now he's got an absorb. 
Hmm. Charge Champions that grit. grit. Absorb. Attack. Oh. Disorient. Does that mean it doesn't do things? Oh, yep. no that's damage. sad. Time for a DOJ then. Yep. I would still charge the absorb. Well, I think he's champion's grit and then charging the absorb. Oh, I see, I see. Okay. Ooh, and he top decked the second sun. Beautiful. Cool. All right, metagame. Metagame, metagame. Be careful. Be wary. Play something. You think he's going to be wary of an absorb here? Well, he was last time. <clears throat> see, it's getting uh, sweaty, you know? A DOJ came out at the worst time. He was starting to really build out his board there. It's the finale. It's going to be super sweaty. Dagger Claw's out. Oh, no. Oh, no. He absorbed his Dagger Claw. I forgot about it. <laughs> Grave Titan's out. <laughs> Grave Titan's out, though. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. So, is it time for a second sun yet? No. Disorient. No. Disorient? No disorient. Why? He's got no flyers. Mm, no, it's against anybody. Oh. Yeah. I thought it was only if you defend. No, it's uh, when you attack, it gives... Oh, that was sad. Yeah, yeah. 10 damage. All right. But that's okay. A lot of creatures just uh, came out. Second Sun has to be played Second now. Sun. Oh, no. Dahaka, you had it. You had it. All of a sudden, metagame out of nowhere. So metagame's at three health. It's not over yet. But Hawk you do is have at a 13. There's a 10 difference. Would you have charged this disorient? Yes. Well, I guess if you're going to take the eight damage or the seven damage. That might be the plan. Well, if metagame's at three health here and uh, he's got no other blockers or he got some other way to get that two five overhead, uh, then yeah. Yeah, yeah. What a tight game, eh? Destroy a creature. Oh, doesn't really matter anyways. Well played putting that disorient on there then. Yeah. Yep, yep. All right. Six health left, Ahaka. Nope. I stand no, ten corrected. Health. Shell ten game. health. Shell game. Oh, no. So, uh, metagame's got three, four cards in hand. 17 mana. Dahaka's top decking with 14, 10 health. The metagame's three. It's the top decking that makes me nervous. I know. Dahaka's got a card draw coming to him if he uh, top decks a trap. Oh. <sighs> Pick teams. Pick teams. Nice, nice. Dahaka needed that. Hulking Zombie, Dark Confidant. All right. You need to block at least one of those guys. Got some more heal in there. Absorb. Nice. All right. Pick teams. All right. Uh, uh, yeah, that's probably a good play. So he can't get rid of it. And then charge your Absorb. So what I normally do here is I charge my Absorb first. Right? And then I play my creature and just end. If you do that, um, I'm telling you right now, psychologically, the other player sees the creature come out and, and doesn't think there's a trap. They play quicker. I don't know. It may just be my my crazy thinking here. But I I have a habit. If I'm going to have a, a, a trap charged, I try to charge them before doing my plays so I can end my turn as soon as my plays are done. Would you block the seven? Uh, oh, Ooh. I would. <laughs> uh, but Dahaka may be correct and not. He does have an absorb. I mean, so... who knows? He may be able to get some uh, flying overhead, some uh, give flight, maybe. Is that top decking that makes Arcanus? Arcanus can come up, give it sneak. I definitely would have blocked. Shields okay, up. So absorb and shields up. That's what you got. Yeah. It is what it is. What do you do? What do you do? Metagame can attack, attack with a 3-2. It'd be too big of a risk. It's going to suss out the uh, absorb. No. So, so that would have been game. No, because he had his shields up. No, but if he had killed the 6-6 six, six with, uh, with his southpaw, it would have killed him. Shields up wouldn't have worked. Oh, okay. I thought it would just... No, it's not an attack. It's just shield. destroy... It's like oh, flagrant foul. Oh, lava guy. wave. Lava wave for the win. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh. Metagame takes round one. Oh, man. What a game. What a fight. Round one. 
close to one health because he went in with his uh, confidant too. Man, what a what a fight that was a nail bite. Well played, meta game. You deserve that win, Dahaka. Oh man, you almost had him. Come on, round two. Let's go. Let's go for that tiebreaker, guys. Round right. two. Fight. Here we go. Round two. Oh my lord, what a match that was. And now we're going into uh, the end of the tournament here. This could be it. This could be the end. Meta game could just take it right now. Come on, Dahaka, switching out the land over to, to uh, Talarian. You're making me nervous. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we'll get a tiebreaker. That would be awesome. I would love to see Dahaka smash meta. No offense, but like, I've only smash meta game fitness is facing. That's what she wanted to say right there. I've only ever beat Dahaka <laughs> once. And I've never beat metagame. You know what? Me and Dahaka have played a few good matches for sure, but uh, I would definitely say he's my better. Look, the eyeballs there. Is that also on uh, is that just computer? I don't know. I didn't look. Listen, I'll go play some spell slingers after this, <laughs> even though it's 2.30 in the morning I never here, noticed it. And uh, we'll check and see. All right. So metagame's going in for three damage, bringing Dahaka down at 22. Equal to metagame's 22. He's got a counterfeiter coming in on turn two. So uh, Dahaka's got the burn through. Yes, yes, good idea. Three mana right now. So he's gonna kill the counterfeiter with the burn through and throw down a uh, Panharmonicon. Get her, getting her ready for that uh, Frost Lynx next turn. Oh, so yeah. now we got another counterfeiter coming in, doing three damage, but taking two. Now he's got uh, 20 to Dahaka's 19. And getting that card draw on, which is nice, nice. Mausoleum Witch is coming in to give the counterfeiter Relentless. That's interesting. He usually, like I said in the last round, saves those Mausoleum Witches to either suss out um, absorbs or to make his counterfeiter Relentless. Nice. And in this case here, he did it this way and it worked out for the Frost Lynx just charging it on the uh, counterfeiter because there was no point in uh, using it on the... Uh, Mausoleum Witch. We're going to go ahead and bounce the uh, Goliath back into his hand. Oh, and the Counterfeiter also negating the Mausoleum Witch's trigger. Wow. Beautiful. Good play. 4-3 is going in. Metagame takes it. Bringing him down to 16 health. Wow, Dahaka, like, you're just going faster than I can keep up with right now. Well played. I'm trying to talk quick about it. <laughs> <laughs> so metagame's up to five, fifth mana now. Uh, Dahaka hasn't had a trigger. He has a chance to trigger next turn. If he doesn't, Master Pilot Stability is coming out. If he does trigger, he's only going to be at five mana. Taking down the flyer. All right, flyer is down, and uh, the confidence back out. Land didn't trigger. Master of Possibility comes out. Drain so two. Drain for free. I would pan it first. Oh, yeah, definitely. And then uh, mana surge, mana surge. Mana surge. 100%. Definitely. You could... Well, here's the thing. You'll have to call it the win with that. Yeah. Otherwise, it's a waste. You should attack first. Yeah. You think it matters? Um, I like to attack first. I don't even play my spells from the mop unless it's going to affect the turn. You're right. 100% it matters. If it doesn't affect the attack, don't do it. Wait till <laughs> wait till your second main. For what sure. are you doing? Testing me? Do I? No, no, I had no tests. What are you talking about? <laughs> All right, here we go. We got Sinister Scowl uh, Southpaw that can come out. We got a Dagger Claw Imp if you go ahead and do an attack, get blocked, blah, blah, blah. Uh, oh, what are you gonna do, Meta? You got a flagrant foul. You got undead striker. Technically, your best bet would be the sinister southpaw against something. Maybe I don't know. What if, would you do? If he's not gonna attack, Liliana's Goliath, and leave it at that. I do like a Goliath. Yeah. All right. So uh, wind elemental comes out. Boom. Yeah, we were there for the charging. <laughs> we were there? Yep. All right. All right. <laughs> Frost Link. All right. All right. Huh. All right. Going in with everything. Uh, what do we do? We block a 4-3? I would block the 4-3. I don't think metagame is going to block, though. Why the 4-3 instead of the 4-4, you think? Because it brings him down to a 4-1. 
which is a lot easier to take out with isochrons or burn throughs or whatever. Exactly. Wait, are you testing me? What? No, <laughs> me? No. Oh, he's going to do the 4-4. Four, four. Also easier to take out with uh, just like, you know, uh, a shock. Yeah. Or a drain. Hmm. Seven damage. 21 to 5. Okay, so I definitely take down the flyer. Would you take down the flyer, Jokesa? Well. With only five health left? Take down and then you have five left, dagger claw. Yeah. Yep, that would be a good play. Meta is thinking about it. How much damage can I take? How many cards can I put out? Should I scour his void here? What? He's thinking of all the possibilities. I think take down Dagger Claws to play. You'll see, but you're at five health. So yeah. you gotta calculate here. Is it enough? It's hard you don't to really know have what to many. do. Six and one. Seven will give you an extra guy there too. I guess the Grave Titan, no, you have to get rid of the flyer. So yeah, yeah there you go, do that. Then, then you have five mana left, and of everything I see here, Dagger Claw, Dagger Claw is the way to go. And he'll so that get only an... gives you one block. No, because he'll get an imp because something died. But an imp's not a blocker, and you're gonna get one health from the Goliath that comes back, brings you to six. But uh, that's still at least six damage coming over. Nope. Actually, you're still alive. Oh, extra healing from the Relentless here. That's oh, what he's that's gonna do. Smart. <laughs> See me, I hate to waste mana, so I never would have thought of that. Well, think about it. So you got the two coming over, then you got a four coming over. You're going to block the two fours. So the four and the two, that's six damage, but you heal for two from the Goliath and the other guy coming back to life. But no, not if he does anything at all. <laughs> Any kind of bounce or anything, that's it. Game over. Eight, nine, ten damage coming over. Holy crap, Dahaka just beat hey, Meta. Hey, Dahaka. Da, 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 da. The trumpets are, are blaring. Uh, I can hear wow. I can hear Gideon's fans screaming. Round two went to Dahaka. Oh, we got a era. tiebreaker for our finale, guys. So keep in mind, if Dahaka <laughs> wins again, they have to fight all over oh, again because no. Meta hasn't lost at all this tournament. Okay, 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 okay. That's okay. That you know, and that'd be that's that's fair. Okay, this is super exciting. We need to get into well round Well played, three. both you guys. Uh, meta game. I can see you. I can feel you thinking really hard at the end. But nope, that's it. You lost that one. Dahaka took you, man. <laughs> All right. So round two goes to Dahaka. Well played, buddy. All right. Here we go. Final round three. Yeah. Tiebreaker. Oh, my lord. So this has been a long, month-long tournament. Lots of players. Everybody worked really hard. Everybody was stuck with the same Planeswalker. So Dahak has been playing with this planes and Metagames have been playing this with this Planeswalker and these decks for a while now. I'm sure you're all getting sick of it. <laughs> uh, but uh, no, no, this is going to be good. That's it. Tiebreaker, and I'm glad it came to it. All right, we're getting Dahaka's point of view first. He kept that to Tolarian Academy on. Uh, uh, yeah, and he's got uh, the staff. Isochron turn one, nice, nice. Yeah, use the staff turn one. Okay, okay. Making sure he's got all those traps in hand. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Counterfeiter comes out. Time for the Isochron to come out too, I would think. Well, we'll wait and see what he gets trapped. For sure, you might as well use the Teferi. Yeah. Uh, the staff, yeah, for sure. I feel uh, like... Return Heal? to hand, Scathing Glare. Either Mend hand. or Scathing Glare. Oh, man. Ooh, Return to Hand will seven. probably save you more often than the Scathing Glare will. I guess so, against a Liliana, right? Whew. All right, metagame's coming in, getting that card draw in the and counterfeiter. Keeping the sneaky on it. Whew, two of them coming in next turn. They're both so sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky. Drain. Then there's only one coming in. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, but you can't drain right now, can you? Can you? Yes, he can. He can take two damage. All right. But that means that uh, 
He's going to come in with this counterfeiter and still keep his sneaky again. Yeah, only one more time. Oh, Metagame's happy. Look, look at that face. That's a happy Liliana. That's Liliana's face, not Metagame's, dear. That's a happy Liliana. She always looks like that. <laughs> All right, Metagame is thinking. He's like, whoa, why do you do that? Whew. Hmm. Turn three, what? It's all right, metagame's thinking, he's thinking. Have. What do we got? We got uh, turn four coming along. Teferi's Accolade's gonna come out with an Absorb, or are we looking at a Frostlings? What do you think? I would think Teferi's Accolade charges the Absorb and, and shields up. up. But he doesn't Frostlings like that guy. Instead. I don't blame him. I don't blame him either. Should we shell game it eventually? No. Yeah. No, that thing no, gets shell. That thing gets shell gamed. Or does it get bounced? Ooh. Well, with no. five mana, I would shell game it and shields up. Yep, I would shell game the uh, Goliath. Attack. Shields, shields up. up and attack. Mm, okay. Well, you could to fairies. Yeah. Put the absorb on. Unsummon the four three and attack. Oh yeah, good call. And if you absorb the 4-3, I don't think it goes in the graveyard. I, it should go in the graveyard. But I believe it basically gets exiled, at least the way um, graveyard manipulation seems to go in this. Why? Game. Why unsummon the counterfeiter? Hmm. Well, I guess he plans on shell gaming that guy. I guess so. I don't blame him. Well, the counterfeiter had... Um, Relentless. Relentless and one, sneak. right? Annoying things. Very annoying. This is like... Uh, Lots of ways to play, right? How Lots do of ways I describe to play this? I know you keep... You're usually the one that says everyone's got a play style. Yes. But when it comes down to uh, some plays, uh, there's so many different venues you could take, so many directions you can go. So I would just block with the 2-5 because I don't want that to turn into a 10 yet. Yeah, 100%. Because I'm going to shell game it. Or Miss Raven it or something for sure. So yeah. either way. Also, I don't want metagame to get health from it. This is like a lot of brain power is happening right now in front of us. Love it. So the crazed ripper does not come out, gets absorbed. That's all of metagame's turn. All five mana gone. I don't think he saw it coming. Ouch. Shell game's coming now. The hacker's feeling good about it. Yeah, I would totally shell game here. <laughs> 100%. Charge his shields up. Might as well. No, not yet. Just go in for an attack. Uh, yeah, not yet. Not yet. Go in for the attack. Then shields up. He's going to block with a 0 6. He'd have a shielded Lynx right now. And, uh,. That could be like bounced or killed easily, right? Yep, you're right. You're right. The shield is only beneficial if it's something that's going to kill you. Actually, I almost feel like I would have played the panharmonic on here just to have it ready. Yeah. Oh, I didn't realize it was a one. Mm hmm. Talarian. Okay, metagame. You got six mana. What are you thinking about over there? He's still got a counterfeiter in his hand. Uh, I think that's the only card that we know that he has, though. <sighs> okay. Master Ooh. of Possibilities. Master of Possibilities and a Liliana? No, okay, that's because of the counterfeiter. Yeah, he definitely stole <laughs> that one. I was going to say that. I didn't see it coming. No, no, he definitely stole that with the counterfeiter. All right, still didn't see it coming. What are we going to get from it? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> he's thinking, he's thinking. Lots of options, eh? Lots of possibilities. Ejected. All right, got rejected. <laughs> got a uh, mausoleum's about to die here, I would think. 
Yeah, and I feel that would have been the card he would have defended with anyways to get the shields up. Well, what I like about it is that the card draw is coming from his uh, little triggers over here. Yeah. And that's really why the shields up mattered to me. So, we got a panharmonicon. <laughs> What do we do here? I feel like Pan comes out, Mist Raven puts a zero two back in his hand. You don't use the pan. You just and have it. Charge the shields up. No, no. You, you, you put the pan out. He did nothing except for charge the shields up. Nice. So metagame doesn't know that. Metagame's got to think about all the different possibilities here. So I love it when Dahaka just does like nothing and passes a turn when he plays the fairy. <laughs> it's great. All right, Master Possibilities was a card draw. That's excellent. I'm hoping he gets a mana next turn, but it doesn't really matter whether his land triggers or he gets mana. He gets to play Master Possibilities and Panharmonicon at the same time. There we go. Here we go. That is definitely the play when you're looking at five creatures to one. Yeah. You need to mop. Yeah, and because pan you your can mop. do. There's a lot of spells you can get from Master of Possibilities that does two damage to everything. There's um. There's the Infast, there's a Pyroclasm, uh, there's a few spells. I think, well, actually, that might be the only two. Those are the only two, Jackson. But either way, those are great spells to use right about now. And with yeah. the Panharmonicon, better chance of getting it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, I don't no, know. Well, no. look, it's not the end of the world, no. but I would definitely play Master of Possibilities here. I would have as well. Damn. So what do you think the thinking was here? It's got one mana left over that's kind of like wasted, right? Um, does he do that on purpose? Does he do it so he can leave the one mana there to trip metagame up a little bit? Yeah, yeah. plus he got a flyer so he can go in to hit Liliana. Yeah, look, the mentality could be that Haka never wants to pass his turnover with no mana left behind because that just incentivizes somebody playing at the ferry to just go all in. Now is your only chance, right? Um, so maybe that's part of the mentality. Right? That's something you would do. Uh, maybe. Either way, I would say to Haka, I would have played that Master of Possibilities, yo. <laughs> That's okay. Let's see what happens here. But he can here. play the Master of Possibilities now. No, he's got that Arcanist. Metagame. That's why he didn't Ooh. want to play Master of Possibilities. I see, I see. It's all coming into play. He only had the one pan charge to use here. Well, oh, no, no, he used it on, he the, used Mist it on the Mist Raven. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Mist Raven going in for three damage. Metagame's out of 21. So Metagame's got that Grave Titan down. Hmm. But uh, the Haka's got two possessing Arcanas in hand. Also a hmm. Mm. So Master of Possibilities to Fairy's Acolyte just in case a good charge uh, trap comes out. Frost Titan is a great Titan. My favorite Titan. The best Titan there is. That guy coming out attacking is uh, overpowered. The, 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 uh, the whole idea of freezing things up on a board that you can only have five creatures max. Uh, it sucks. It sucks. I feel like I'd take his Grave Titan. Well, it's Metagame's turn. Nine mana. He knows Arcanus is in play. He's calculating his odds right now of what came into hand and <sighs> what he could be doing next turn. Lava Wave. <sighs> Lava Wave. How much damage is that? That 16. or he was just going to get himself a sandwich out of the fridge and came back and lava waved and went in for the attack. Because, <laughs> <laughs> man, that was it. That was the play. Yeah, I'd definitely take his Grave Titan here. So we got some Absorb coming up for the heal. Yep. That leaves you at six mana. Do we possess an Arcana? Yeah, we take his Grave Titan. Okay. Because it'll trigger on our side, right? Yeah. No. Why not? Because it hasn't debuted. Really? A debut is when you play a creature from hand. When it enters the battlefield. This didn't enter the battlefield. It just kind of got shuffled. Doesn't he get a zombie every time? He attacks or he enters attacks? the battlefield. Okay. As a so if Dahaka attacks with him. He'll get that trigger. Yeah. yeah, that's what I was thinking. So a three cost just got absorbed. I have a feeling metagame did on purpose. I can't imagine a thing that was worth using that Sinister Southpaw. Just to go ahead and suss out that absorb. So metagame smiling. Zero two oh, for the Grave Titan. Got rid of the Grave Titan. Ouch. That sucks. Block the four two. <clears throat> for sure. Block the four two. Take four damage. Nope. Four two didn't go in. Nope. Or he's doing a little he's dance. Doing a dance. Doing a little dance. 
Make a little love. Hey, no, no make love and this is YouTube. YouTube. No love making. You started the song. <laughs> you could have at least finished it. Get down tonight. Thank <laughs> you. Copyright Frenchman. <clears throat> Here we go. Four damage coming through. Dahaka is down to nine health. Oh, all right. Yes. Switcheroo. I was waiting to see what the heck metagame was up to over here. Oh, he's got another Grave Titan. Oh. Titan Counterfeiter. It's got a whole lot of threes and twos. That crazed Ripper, eh? He really likes that Ripper. This is his mono black. Oh, yeah. Is it mono? No, no, no. no he's had flash. flame uh, coils. Yeah. Crazed Rippers, huh? Yeah. Well, uh, they make. I don't know. I don't know, metagame. They make whatever card you take from a zero attack, so it makes sense. What if you were playing like a Gideon who had no chroma? Well, maybe metagame you doesn't have all the cards. Crazed Ripper. Are you kidding me? Well, I mean, <laughs> maybe he's just working with uh, less cards to work with. Like, look. No. They're all gray. I don't see shiny cards here. No, oh God, no judgment. So. No judgment here, metagame. <laughs> oh, my God. Maybe I play too much. All right. So we got the uh, Bone Collector just got top decked. What do we What do we got here? 11 mana. Dahak is 9 health. He's got his Titan out. There's no mm. point in attacking. Well, Counterfeiter should be coming up. Uh, that's some uh, guaranteed damage overhead, right? If he brought the Crazed Ripper out, it would make the Frost Titan a 0-8. I do like the idea of that. So definitely that. So that's 7. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. That leaves you with 4 mana. Um, so yeah, he could Crazed Ripper and then bring the Dark Confidant and the Counterfeiter or... Crazed Ripper and Bone, Bone Collector. Bone Collector and Counterfeiter. Done. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Done. He's only got space for five creatures, dude. Well, uh, he'll have to kill something. <laughs> Going for the attack. All in with four. Why would he attack? Why not? Both of his creatures would die. You're right. That would only make sense if he was going to attack. Hmm. He's See? Gonna attack. See? Yes, yes, yes. Of course he's going to go in. He might as well. Because the optimal, the meta game here, <laughs> is to play the Craze Ripper, to take four from the Frost Titan, play the Counterfeiter, and play the Bone Collector in hopes that it uh, ruins the Haka's next play with his Acroma that he was going to play next turn. S nope. Sorry, meta. I thought he'd make it through one match without playing the meta game card. <laughs> Bone Collector. Yep. Yes, yes. Now that a chroma cost ten? No, eleven. I don't think he has an acroma. He probably doesn't. But he could. Yeah, he could. Oh, I forgot about that. He's got a possessing arcana. He stole the grave titan again. He's a grave titan stealer. Just keep stealing it. Alright. Freezing the bone collector. That's okay. Uh, you might as well defend with the four four. Or the two two. Or the 2-2. Two, two. Either way. I think he's going to defend with the 4-4 four, four because he's in a crazed ripper at next turn, which makes it a 0-4. No, it would make it a 4-4, four, four, but at the end of the day, the I crazed it, ripper would be big enough to kill it. I thought it takes... The attack. Four of it. Four or five of his attack power. So, you got uh, a 2-2 two, two and a 2-4 going in. Because you need to make some space, man. Okay. I thought it took all the attack power, that's nope. why. No, okay. it's four or five. Okay. I believe it's four. Dagger Claw goes in. Craze Ripper is coming in now to steal four from the Grave Titan. Yeah, steal four, you're right. <clears throat> and then you need space for the Imp. Yes. And Dahaka Ooh. has a Call of the Wind to block that imp. Dahaka's down to 5 health. Alright, his Talarian just triggered. Metagame's still at 21. Oh, he top decked an Isochron, it seems. We were too busy arguing over what play. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't notice the health was going down. It Sorry, Dahaka. Dahaka's down to 5, man. Isochron, he's thinking hard. He still has a Frost Titan on the ground. But if he goes in for the attack, he loses it. He's got uh, the uh, Grave Titan. Won't die when it attacks, and it'll make a 2-2. So might as well. 
He's got the three two in the air, so that's gonna go in for the attack. Oh, another frost titan coming in. I feel like I'd go in with everything. Yeah, I'd definitely go in with everything. Oh, oh I would have given my eight two fly. flying. Yeah. But I get the idea of always having a creature coming in. But still, eight damage overhead right now would have been the play, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would have brought him down to 10 health instead of 14. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. He could take this. The extra blockers on the ground is a good idea. And 4-8 in the air makes sense too when you got all these three ones popping out. Yeah, all right, no. all right. Eight four in the air made more sense. Sorry. What's metagame gonna do here? Attack. Mm, he has no removal on the ground. If he attacks with uh, his uh, dagger claw, Lord, then uh, he's not gonna have a trigger. But uh, it's about almost game over if he doesn't do something. He needs space too to put down more cards. Yeah, but why put him down? If the creatures you have on the board are bigger than the creatures you'd put down, you might as well go in for the attack, right? Right. So you could wear down your opponent a little bit. What's the Hawker going to do here? I'd block that guy. Yeah, with the 8-8. Eight, eight. You need him to die for sure. Why would you block with your flyer? Not sure. Also, why wouldn't you want him to die? The Hawker got nervous. I can't imagine that was right play. But that's okay. It's not over yet. It was just a small miscalculation. Because I would have definitely killed that guy. Yeah, you just gave him another flyer and got rid of your flyer. Were you worried maybe about... Um, maybe he was worried about that one cost. Uh, what's it called? Uh trap that killed He'd already things. blocked the crazed ripper. But it died. Oh no, it didn't. Die. No, it didn't. It's right there. No, no, but your creature that blocked it died. And Oh, yeah. you think he was worried about in venom? And venom, that's it. Hmm. I still would have taken the chance. But did he not just get rid of the guy? Yeah. So that was a play anyway, right? But he got a 3-1 out of it. He did. He did. And he lost a flyer. I don't know. <laughs> Sorry, Dahaka, that's not what I would have done. <laughs> oh, no, but he's out of five health. I don't blame the guy right now. All right, so uh, Craze Ripper is blocking the 8-8. Eight, eight. The 4 eight's going to go overhead. The 3-1 Imp is uh, frozen, so the other 3-1 is going to come in for the attack. Blocked by the 4-8, so I don't see any damage coming over next turn. Dahaka is still in the game, at least as it seems for now. He's got nine mana. And uh, he just needs one more trap to trigger. Yeah, but see, now he can flagrant foul his flyer. All right, flagrant foul just came in. For sure, you got to get rid of that flyer. Yes, yes. And again, that's why I wouldn't have sacrificed my flyer to that last 100%. Time. I agree with you. I, w I would have taken the chance on the 8-8. Eight, eight. I would have taken the chance that he had an Envenom to keep my flyer. Yep, 100%. That flyer was uh, something you needed. Not three, two, the extra three damage, four, seven, that's seven damage each turn. That's what you needed to be doing. But that's okay. Not a big deal. We're going to go in, do three damage to face, leaving you with two health. <clears throat> two, two is going to block the four, four here. <clears throat> Has to. Yeah, I would hope so. And I think it's almost game. Oh, no. Dahaka, what do you got? Any good traps? Oh, nope. <laughs> Not just yet. Maybe there's an absorb over there. Oh, maybe. Well, that would be why the game is only playing his yeah. two cost cards. He doesn't actually need an absorb to trigger. No. All right. There it is. I think that's game. Well, unless the Haka finds another flyer. What did he thought back? <laughs> I don't know. Let's see. All he really needs to do is get that 8 4 over. Oh, here we go. Mop. Master of possibilities for 8. So that, you see that, guys? That bone collector over there really made a difference, man. Pain in the butt, mm. that card is. I have two bone collectors in my J says no deck. Hence why I know it's a pain in the butt. So good. <laughs> All right. All right, Dahaka. 
For your sake, I hope you got a plummet or a flagrant foul. No, you need something really good. Pyroclasm. Here. An invest or a pyroclasm would have been the. Oh, well, he got Drana. <clears throat> Not enough. No. Nope. Oh, Panharmonicon. Got a Panharmonicon. Come on, infest. That's what you need. Or a Panharmonicon. One or the other. You mean or a pyroclasm? I mean pyroclasm. Come on. You got this. Another unholy recruitment and give himself a flyer. <sighs> oh no. Whatever it is, he decided to attack first. Let's see. He didn't click the attack button. Well, maybe he's just doing a little dance. If it was an infast or pyroclasm, he'd use it before the attack coaster. All right. That wouldn't happen either. <clears throat> Not enough. That's at least three damage coming through. Plus a two from the counterfeiter. Yeah. Yeah, metagame decided not to block because he'll be able to get three. I'm overhead. surprised that he uh, used a frost link. Oh, path to exile. The, oh, okay. Wait, oh, is it over? Foul. Yeah. It's over. Ah, uh, I'm surprised a frost link went after the four two bone collector. He could have stopped one of the flyers with it. Oh no. <laughs> that was so That was really close. close actually because next next turn Dahaka would have taken that I think if it wasn't for a top deck flagrant foul. But I can't say that. Metagame uh was definitely playing on top of things there. He knew what he was doing. And that's game, guys. That's it. Meta game is, it over? is the winner. Oh, Meta Game is our champion of the entire tournament. Is that right? Yep. Hey, there it is. There it is. Everybody take a second. Dahaka, you are the number two. You were right there. You almost had it. You brought it all the way into the third game on the last game, uh, third round of the last game, and uh, you played darn well. So uh, you deserve some kudos. But uh, enough of that, because Metagame is our champion. Metagame, you have not lost a single game in this entire tournament with all us spell slingers doing everything we can to take you down you didn't even break a sweat well played sir well played uh you are the reigning champion and with that we would love to uh, speak with you uh put our heads together and come up with a good idea as to what our next tournament's going to be like and i can't wait to uh get that one going yeah i'll be curious to see what the guy who physically looks at all the cards and moves them around before playing them <laughs> comes up with for a tournament oh yeah for sure for sure and uh hey who knows maybe we'll even convince you to do a little bit of a guest commentary on us on one of the next games uh that we put together uh, a little pressure no pressure uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right all right that was an excellent game thank you for sitting through it with us guys if you guys are still here uh kudos to you guys for being part of the entire tournament with us and enjoying the game and being part of our community um, and thanks for watching this game. Uh, and uh, also remember to hit that like button. Uh, keeps the algorithm going there and uh, helps show us that uh, you guys are all uh, interested and uh, you want to see some more. Uh, and also hit that subscribe button. We like to keep track of uh, how many of our uh, uh, members are here and how big our community is growing. And if you want to see anything change or tell us just how awesome we are or even tell Metagame how awesome that game is. Yeah, yeah, was. go ahead. Tell Metagame and and, and Haka. Leave a comment down below. Hey, well played, everybody. Thanks for watching.